band Tool, Adam Jones Guitar Tech, and this is Dunlop TV. Hey, what's happening? We are here in San Francisco, California at the Bill Graham Civic Auditorium. And we are on the stage for Tool yeah. and Chris Leahy, a.k.a. Frank. What do we call you? Frank. Everybody calls me Frank. Everybody calls you Frank. And he's Adam Jones' Jones's tech? Yeah. I've, been, I've been his tech for a long time, like 2001. Well, hell, do you mind uh, running us through this rig? Yeah, sure. What do you want to know? Do you mind if we start with the guitarist? Is that yeah, all right? Come on down here. Are these the original silver bursts that he's yeah. used from yeah, the very yeah. get-go of the beginning? He's got quite a few, but these are the main ones that... These are the only ones he used since I've been with him. Wow. And uh, Man, they look like they got a lot of love on them. Yeah. And we also have a talk box up there that basically... Uh, it's, it's a uh, talk box. <laughs> it's powered by that Roland. <laughs> It's a talk box. Let's talk about powered the talk by, box. Well, it's a talk the box. It goes through here, it comes through the tube, it goes out into his mouth, he plays the guitar, it goes into the mic. And now is that a Heil mic as well? Yes. You gotta clean this every day too. What do you clean it with? Um, Listerine. Makes sense. Oh, is this the amp he uses down. for yeah. the top box? Yeah this, is a, yeah, this is what he uses for the And then box. the Dynacom? Yep. Oh, wow. Gives a little more sustain. Well, this is it down here. Well, let's go back up on the stage and take a look at uh, what he runs it through. This is all very old school. You know, there's no messing around. So, micro amp? Yeah. Well, you just for a lead boost? Yeah. Optical volume? Also, yeah, this is um... This, that's an old 535Q. That's like from the yeah, 90s. No, they don't, yeah, they don't make those anymore. They're very hard to... Crazy. Hard to get a hold of. <laughs> this has lasted as long as I've been with them. Wow. We've never changed it out. And really? He uses it quite a bit, too. Single delay, single flange, and a graphic EQ. Yep. This is no what, fancy this is switches, no different. fancy loopers. This is basically what he learned to play with, and this is what he sticks to. Yep. So tell us about the tourist pedals, or whatever they call them nowadays. This is actually a Roland PK-5. This is actually, this is what's triggering this right here. This is um, this virus, access virus. It's, it's a synthesizer, and you know, he gets all goofy sounds out of that. I got this fun and you know fun games. Another virus. There's another synthesizer with actually keys on it. He can uh, fiddle and do. Uh, he makes all kinds of noises out of this. And so. this has a rotary sound. Yeah, it's gets basically it's got an organ sound. And, That's kind of uh, rad. It's also got with the um, with the beam on it. Oh, where, like the where it can go up and down. You know. Oh wow, that's a nice BC, B3 sound. Uh, that's what that does. Dunlop slide entered uh, 220, 221. You know what, I need a spare because I don't know what happened to his other spare. And, you know, <laughs> sometimes these things roll up the stage. Sometimes right. he throws it, sometimes it, some pe people steal these things. Of course they do. This, is the original amp that he used. I'm pretty sure that's the only one I've known of. That's the 70s, He's what is it, Super forever. Bass? He's been around forever. 100 watt? Yeah. Do you know if it's been modified at all? No, it's well it modified. hasn't been modified. It, it, actually, even when we get it re repaired, we no one, no one fuck with it. No one touches it. That's fucking rad, Well, they've got to try to find the parts that they don't make anymore for it. If there's a part that's right. Yeah. Very touchy about it. New that. old stock. Yeah, exactly. And these diesels, which are uh, insanely loud and sound This amazing. looks like a base cabinet. Yeah, this is a base cabinet. Oh, he's using this Mesa 4x12. Mm -hmm. um, and along with it, this is a Mesa 215 base cabinet. He's using this also. Big, fat, giant sound. It just sounds a little deeper, more depth, and which is really, the bottom really end. strange, yeah. All right, Frank. Thanks again, my yeah, man. Sure, no problem. Hey, it's your buddy Brian Kehoe signing off from the stage of Tool with our buddy Frank. <laughs> Adios, amigos. If, if I keep going by the name Frank, I'm going to lose my identity. You know, I'm going to forget who 